Okay, so last week I mentioned in a video that I think I, that I thought that humans should become a completely hermaphroditic species and it's kind of based on the alchemical concept of rebus which is another one of these symbols that's kind of like a unification of opposites and kind of destruction of binary um but what what would that entail you know i, I think it would entail possible cross speed you know you'd have to mess with the genes a bit um i think you might want to i think we'd probably have to go with either lizards or certain types of frogs because there are there are species of lizards that asexually reproduce you know and that that would be how we would you know stay you know keep up and then the frogs because certain frogs can um you know that i i just woke up fuck off um and you know other amphibious species that can you know kind of somewhat change their sex according to their environment um i'm, I'm not saying that humans should be able to do that because that wouldn't exactly be possible um i don't think but maybe i, I think maybe you might want to I, I really wonder about the rates of like intersex people that can that that could possibly breed in order to do this or maybe like people with hermaphroditism that could possibly breed if you know it doesn't completely negate the idea that they could that i think they should do it more with each other as well as the general populace and it, it would kind of be a, a merging in concepts like um the anima and animus, you know, and then, and then in Greek mythology, um, there, there's, um, this tale that humans started out as, um, four arms, four legs, and both male and female in one, but Zeus feared them because he, they, he felt they were too powerful, so he separated them, and each spends their entire life searching for the other half they were taken from, and the anima and animus could be viewed as, the remnant qualities that managed to stick while the sex was ripped in two and you know it's it's speculation of course it's but if you think about it if you got if you cause that somewhat that divide to kind of be bridged i i think that you could get a much more productive species out of it I, 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 I'm I, not sure how you could go about it, but I'm sure you could go about it. And, you know, it's like I said with Rebus, it's the, it, it's the, it's kind of like the ultimate evolution of the species, according to, you know, like alchemy and stuff. And, you know, I think, you know, I think that might have a lot of truth to it if you really consider it as... I've been doing and if you've and it would it, it would really cause for a lot because you know you for one you would kind of get rid of a certain competition that nowadays seems to be utterly counterproductive in the world you know with the never-ending libido matches and measuring contests you know a hermaphrodite a hermaphroditic species wouldn't really have to deal with that if it was an asexually reproducing one and well there and, and there's an interesting thing um i was looking into a lot of most hermaphrodites are female like biologically so that goes back to my point with the certain species of lizards the species of lizards that asexually reproduce they're female and it creates a carbon copy of themselves and, you know, it's, 
it would kind of be like um, Agola from Dune, which we could also figure out immortality from it, possibly. Because um, we haven't really tried cloning a human before, and if you think about it, if you clone yourself, you could probably, at some point, like, let's just say you get, like, an ailment. You could, if you have an extra version of yourself, you could probably do a brain transplant on it. And I know I'm probably seeming like I'm off the rails here and absolutely insane, but hear me out. It, it, it would be an, it would be a great idea. Just that <laughs> it would be.